What's the YouTube? It's your boy Daniel. Today we're gonna be talking about senior retention day three, baby. All right, let's hop right into it. I'm gonna tell y'all how I feel. I'm gonna tell y'all some things y'all should maybe avoid, and I'm gonna just give y'all some tips. All right. So that's how we're gonna hop into it. Man, oh man, oh man. This is no fat versus senior retention. We're gonna start off by saying this. On no fat, day three is probably the hardest day by far. Seam retention, it's pretty hard too. I don't crave porn that much, but I do crave my girl. And I crave blessing some more nuts. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's a weird feeling. I ain't gonna hold. It's a weird feeling when you crave a female over a phone. Like, instead of giving your phone all the power, you, you giving your female all the power. Which is not the dynamic you want at all. What you want to be able to do is control your urges. And use them to fuel your drive and your passion. You don't want your girl to have all the power. Because if she has all the power, you get whiplash. You get... You start changing how you treat her. You start changing how you act. When you get your phone all the power, it's even worse. Because then you dependent on porn, which is worse. Because when you depend on porn, you just, you can have anytime you want. Your girl, you got some restraint. You can have her anytime you want. I ain't gonna lie. I've been feeling real horny. I ain't gonna hold. Like, I want to use my girl to masturbate. That's why I got to remember. She a human being. She got feelings. I got feelings. She ain't just a little toy you use to play with. Get some pleasure out of her. That's not what girls were put on this planet for. We all people. We all in this shit together. Don't get caught up in the chase of pleasure. Jumping from ejaculating with a phone to a girl. It's a it's an achievement, but it's not the end goal. The end goal is to be able to transmute, take this energy to better your life. I'm going to say it one more time. The end goal is to transmute, take this energy inside of you to better your life and other people's lives. Spilling this energy too often. Gives very, very similar results no matter whether it's with a girl, whether it's with a phone. Spilling the energy too often leads to negative results. We talk about this a lot when we talk about why you should get on no fat, man. Senior attention boosted energy, boosted self confidence, stronger, mentally tougher, more focused, more creative. All these, all these benefits come from retaining your seed. When you're spilling your seed and you don't value your semen, you run into many problems because your semen is your life force fluid. Your body is trying to catch up and make more of it. And it takes energy to make semen. Just like it takes energy to make blood. You have to value your life force energy. Because once you start valuing your life force energy, you're able to transmutate it into whatever you want in this world. You can have anything you desire. You can have anything you desire. Anything. Y'all can have it. What I'm having to learn is that you may can get anything you want, but should you do that? Should you get anything you want? I may want to have sex and get head 24-7, but is that what's best for me? Is what you want always what's best for you? I don't think it is. I think sometimes 
you have to do difficult things like abstaining from things like porn or a girl in order for you to better your life. There can't be no pleasure without pain. There can't be no pain without pleasure. It's two sides to the same coin. To appreciate one, you have to appreciate the other. To appreciate ejaculating, you have to appreciate abstinence and semen retention. To appreciate being rich, you have to have been poor. Because it's two sides to the same coin. To appreciate having two legs to walk around with, you have to have gone without your two legs at full capacity. It makes sense when you think about it. Right now, I'm fighting the fight of my brain not reverting back to the way it was thinking before I was with this girl. And when I was watching porn, I'm trying to stop my brain from rewiring itself to looking at this girl like porn. Because you want your brain to rewire itself into looking at people as humans, not as masturbation devices. That's one of the traps you may fall into if you ejaculate too often. Females can become masturbation devices, just like porn, just like your hand. The goal is to look at everyone as a human being. Be generous towards them, love them. We're all in this together, man. Transmutate this energy. Treat others how you wish to be treated. Peace out, man.